Welcome to this next session, which we'll talk all about the pre-appointment BIM execution plan or the pre-contract BIM execution plan. Here, we're going to explore how to create a well-structured pre-contract BIM execution plan or pre-BEP. And by doing this effectively, you're not only aligning with ISO 19650, but you're also increasing your chances of winning the contract. The pre-BEP isn't just about aligning teams, it's actually about employers exchange information requirements being satisfied and whether they're assessing the supply chain and whether the capability and capacity is there. And then if the proposed methods are suitable and if you have the right strategies for risk management, and it really lays the foundation for the post-appointment BIM execution plan. It provides this draft plan that can then be refined and agreed upon for the contract award. It plays a critical role in helping the delivery team meet the exchange information requirements or the EIR by laying out exactly how the data will be produced, shared and checked. Exactly. And it's also a great way to show the appointing party that the project is well planned and ready to move forward. The pre bap becomes a key communication tool between the parties, ensuring everyone is on the same page. In the end, it shows that your team is prepared, capable and fully aligned with ISO 19650 standards. This gives the appointing party confidence in your approach and puts you in a strong position to win the tender. Yep, absolutely. But there are a few challenges that might be faced when we are planning out our pre-appointment BIM execution plan. Akosh, why don't you share from your experience, what do you see? Sure. So from my experience, I often see teams struggle with poor information management strategies. There is a lack of clear workflows and data ends up scattered and disorganized. On top of that, there is often a lack of clarity in task responsibilities. So no one really quite sure who is accountable for what. To make things even worse, it is impossible to onboard new resources into this mess so that will slow down the entire mobilization process. Yep, but don't worry, we've got your back as we dive into the key components of creating this winning strategy for pre-appointment BIM execution plans. We have your back. Let's start with the first key area that needs to be defined, which is the project information model, the PIM strategy. This outlines how the project's information will be developed, del delivered and managed. A well-defined PIM strategy shows the appointing party that you understand their requirements and have a clear plan to deliver the right information at the right time. The next area is information standards, methods and procedures. This is where you demonstrate consistency and compliance by clearly defining how files will be named shared and stored, you make it easy for the appointing party to see that your team can maintain order and alignment. Great point. And the third thing is to define roles and responsibilities for information management. The appointing party wants confidence that each team member knows their role. For example, who's responsible for coordinating data delivery? Who oversees the quality control checks? and who is going to be on the hook for getting the coffee at the end of the day. And finally, we have collaboration workflows and tools like the common data environment. Defining these upfront shows the appointing party that your team is ready to hit the ground running. It's like saying, here is how we will work together, here is where you will find the updates, and here is how we will stay aligned. This level of clarity builds trust and gives you a real edge in winning this tender. Yep, now let's see how Planoly makes this process seamless because along with the tender package, the templates for the pre-appointment BIM execution plan, the risk register and the mobilization plan can be shared with all of the prospective teams. And it ensures that everyone is aligned and they have the right structure to respond effectively. It really streamlines the workflow for the appointing and the appointed teams. The example that we see here is a pre-appointment BIM execution plan that is submitted by a lead or a prospective lead appointed party. And you can see here that Planoly helps you to organize everything from defining the workflows and the roles to aligning with the information requirements that have been requested. The templates act as a guiding framework. They make it easier for teams to meet these requirements and deliver a well thought out response. Planoly ensures accountability, consistency, and efficiency at every step. It's not just about helping a team to respond, but it's also about how you can stand out in that tender process and actually win the contract. So remember, don't plan late. Plan early. With Planoly. We'll see you on the next one.